What's going on everybody? Hogwarts Legacy just released a new trailer at GamesCon and today we're gonna watch it and analyze it and break it down a little bit and it's gonna be a good time. I'll break it down a little bit more later on in the week but without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it. The more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts the better prepared we'll be. If either of you uses dark magic I will notify the headmaster immediately. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. The Dark Arts seem harmless until it's too late. None of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Crucio! <laughs> You've made your choice. Have the two of you done? Is that it? A little bit more. Ooh. Ooh, this must be the pre-order stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, the pre-order stuff. Sweet. So that means that must be the uh, the dark cloak and all that. So let's back this up a little bit. Let's just start at the beginning here. Can't wait to dive into this. The more we. All right. So this is the picture that we got the other day on the official Twitter, talking about beware the spiders and all that. I think got all sorts of signs in there. I guess I don't really even see spiders in there. Kind of shocking, actually. All sorts of artifacts in here. You got the uh, the spine candles you see in Lupin's office in Prisoner of Azkaban. So that's kind of cool. Then all sorts of coffins. This kind of looks like that one scene from the State of Play that makes it look like it's in the uh, in Gringotts. I don't think it is though. I don't think that's where it's supposed to be. This might be the Dark Arts Battle Arena that they talked about in the the leaked pre-order stuff. This is dark magic. I will notify the headmaster immediately. I have no idea who this guy is. Maybe you can choose different friends from different houses. You see him again a little bit later when they're standing in front of the Chamber of Secrets. Givable curses are so this named. It has to be the Chamber of Secrets, right? Like, it's gotta be the Chamber of Secrets. You got all the snakes and everything, and this has to be Slytherin. It looks just like the one from the movie. Well, it looks a lot like the one from the movie. Let's skip forward a little bit here. So named for a reason. Wait, is that the Deathly Hallows? Unforgivable curses are so named Kind of looking like the Deathly Hallows right there without the uh, without the wand there, so that could be cool. Kind of looks like a graveyard here. We got a huge dragon skeleton there. That's way bigger than any of the ones we've seen so far in the state of play or in the, in the other trailer. That's, oh my gosh, more of the Thestrals here. That's like a reoccurring theme here, so that's kind of cool. So this is the scene that we saw last week in one of the Twitter posts where it had the tree covered in the Beware of Spiders signs. Still not sure if that's supposed to be Acromantula or... I think it's called like the bag spider, cocoon spider, something like that. That would make more sense canon wise. We've got all these different spiders and then this one back here is glowing. So I think that that must mean that, that one's the corrupted one and he's kind of like the head one. Once you defeat him, I bet all these other ones uh, either die or disappear or maybe you have to kill all of them. But if you don't kill this one, they just keep spawning. Looking closer, I don't think these are supposed to be Acromantula. I think they're supposed to be either those cocoon spiders or something new entirely because they've just got all these spikes on the back here which is really cool looking um, but not what we're used to seeing with acromantula what do we do now this looks like the hallway that's described in chamber of secrets with all the pillars and snakes and stuff and then you've got the door here that looks like it's also the chamber of secrets so i don't know if sebastian's the heir of slytherin or another heir of slytherin i guess the ability would have to be passed down generation to generation right maybe he's a different branch of the family tree but maybe he's a good Slytherin. Maybe he won't set loose a basilisk on the entire castle. It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. So my guess here is that this is where we start to really uh, choose the good path or the dark path. I don't know how early in the story this is going to be. But it definitely seems like Sebastian's got some sort of history here with the dark arts. Maybe his family is just awful. That remains to be seen. Crucio! Uh, 
this is kind of cool because you can see a face right there in the door. It kind of looks like one of those portals in the mirror room from the state of play. I don't know if portal is the right word, but if it is a portal, it seems like the choices you make will affect where you go later in the game. So that could kind of make sense. I guess if you choose the dark path, maybe you go to Azkaban. If you choose the light path, uh, maybe you go somewhere else. I have no idea. This it's definitely the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, right? Like you've got the secret entrance in the girl's bathroom, and then it leads down to this after you slide down the pipes. But also, who is this guy in the corner over here? It showed him a little bit earlier. It really makes me think that maybe, maybe your companions aren't locked in. Like there could be a couple of different options for each of them. And if so, that would be kind of cool. Pause here to see if there's anything cool in this scene. I wonder if this is the other side of the door. Uh, that looks like that one to the entrance of the Chamber of Secrets. So if it is, it's definitely not. Maybe there's just dungeons instead. Maybe that wasn't the Chamber of Secrets. I know in Hogwarts Mystery, there's all sorts of dungeons and whatnot that you can go into. So this could be one of those. We know for sure that we'll be getting stuff like that, so it would make sense. What? That troll, this troll here, he's got the red glow in his eyes there, but he's smashing in fury. So I wonder if we won't be like controlling him. Yeah, look at those eyes. Man, he is ugly. What have the two of you done? So I wonder if that one, if that scene, if the other guy is a professor or do you think he's like Sebastian's dad or something like that, I wonder. Yes. So we've known for a while, or theorized for a while, that we'd be getting that we'd be getting a dark arts pack as a pre-order bonus, and it talked about a cloak that you could get, and people weren't sure if that was gonna be an in-game item or an out-game item where you like actually get a cloak for the for the special pre-order. And then that's the garrison hat that it talks about right there. Onyx hippogriff mount. I I don't know exactly how that's gonna play out, if it's just like the same as this, but it's a hippogriff. Obviously we're getting another mount though. And then the 72 hours early access. That's the one we've all been waiting for. That's the good stuff, that's what we want. And that's pretty much the rest of what we see here until the end where it's got all the different versions you can get the game on. Uh, Switch, Xbox One, the new Xbox, PS4, and PS5, the newest PlayStation. You can pre-order on the 25th of August, which is a couple days from now. And then tomorrow, the day after GamesCon, they're gonna announce more about the collector's edition too. So that'll be pretty exciting. I'll make a video covering that as well. And then I'll go into a further breakdown of all of this. But that's all I've got for you today. I'll catch you next time, nerds.